Lily O'Reilly, the 67th Miss Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University. And I have with me the 69th Miss Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University, Samira Hopkinson. And we're with Maroon and White Media. We're just going to have a conversation on the in-depth aspects of who the person is behind the crown. Samira, just tell us a little bit about who you are. And of course, I've introduced you, but you're lovely, you're beautiful, but you have a soul and you have a mind and we want to explore some of the facets of just who you are. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I am a native of Madison, Alabama, originally born in Jacksonville, Florida, to two South American parents and went all the way from Guyana. Just a little bit about you. Just a little bit about me. So siblings, no siblings, no. I do have a sister. She is in New York, so much love to her. Yes. So I want to know a little bit about just your life. So um, any extracurricular activities that you've done or what your tenure was at a and what you actually experienced up until the point that you were Miss A&M and even beyond. But let's just talk about those first three years. So I am a second generation Bulldog. My father, Samson Hawkinson, currently teaches here at the university. So that's really how my journey to Alabama a and began. Um, I am a Communicative Sciences and Disorders major, just graduated in May. Uh, <laughs> so my first interaction with the university would have to be through my organization, NESHLA, which is a National Student Speech and Hearing Association, where I got to serve as undergraduate representative, and that was a pretty cool experience to be able to be the voice of the undergraduate population because that program is mainly driven by the graduate students, but the undergraduate population is so big and we had some ideas that need to be heard, so I was the one to do that. And then I met you through, uh, I can't remember, it wasn't It was prior. a Bible study. It was a Bible study. And we used to have Bible study at Foster at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. We were lit for Jesus, right? Yes. So, and uh, you met me there mm -hmm. with your church. Yes. And you danced for your church. I did. So tell people a little bit about just, and I know this kind of aside, but mm -hmm. a part of your dance ministry or how dance really is a, just a part of you. Yeah. Up until that point or just what you do on the side with the mm -hmm. dance. So uh, I always tell people I've danced for my whole life, but I was not professionally trained in studio until I was about, 14, so going on, I don't know, five, six years now. So that means I still have a chance, yo. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I dance with Elion School of Dance, and it's more than just movement, it's a ministry. It is how I express myself when there are no words, yeah. when I'm not sure how to put it together and express it. That, that is my love language, that is yeah. my safe space dance is really in my heart so to be able to bring that to campus and it be a place where I could express myself my true self that was pretty great and I guess kind of started my journey as to yeah. what because I know you had some awesome opportunities to dance and I just don't remember when you actually <laughs> dance this is just me hinting at it um some of the name some of the events that you danced at and at, on campus throughout um, your tenure. Yeah, so we've danced at the women's tea, Miss um, A&M's tea, the coordination, uh, other Bible study events. Almost any time we could get Jesus yeah. on this campus, we were here. Yeah. yeah. What led you? What was that spark to say I want to be Miss Alabama A&M University? 